teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, and tonight, teacher, uh, I'll, I'll only in staying in. Uh, ah, okay. I, I have a lot of working. Okay, perfect. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Good evening. Good evening.
Okay, everybody, welcome to the class. Today is Friday. That is amazing. Okay, it's a pleasure to be here with you tonight. And, uh, well, we're going to check about the platform tonight. Okay. And let me just check what happened here. Okay. So, I have a question before we start the class. Of course, go ahead. Uh, okay, uh, I I don't know how to use uh, uh respect to the uh, presentation today. Okay. I have a I have my slide in PowerPoint. Uh, but but I I, I don't know how to how to use it. When I have the opportunity. Okay, so uh, if you want to present something, uh, if you are there in Zoom, uh, there is, if you touch the, you are doing that on the cell phone, right? Uh, no, my my laptop. Ah, okay, that is easier because below it says share screen. Okay, yes, yes. And when you click on that one, you just choose where is the presentation, when it's open. And ah, okay. That's the uh, you, will, you, you will uh, give me the, the time for, for, for that. Definitely, I can help you with that. Uh, okay, very good. Please That's... help me because <laughs> I, I I didn't to uh, this is my my uh, my first time to 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 use it, right? Very good. That is amazing. Don't worry, you <laughs> are, you are going to get the help. So. Okay, thank you, teacher. It's a pleasure. Okay, so um, let me just check something here. Uh, okay, Rosalina, be careful. And let me just check about the platform here. All right. Perfect. So this is the class of tonight. So this is the video that we are recording right now, right? And also remember that this is the homework for tonight. So it's very, very important that all of you finish uh, the five exercises, meaning the 1.1, 1 .1, 1 1.3, 1 1.5, 1.7, and 1.9. So let's finish that one tonight. Uh, so tomorrow I can send the grades to Insafo. Okay. That is very important. Do you have any questions about this? I didn't understand this one. <laughs> You didn't understand which one? This homework? No. This one, this one, you know, by the another ones. Uh, I ha I have had um, 20 by 20, okay? By, by this one, 8 by 20. <laughs> okay. Uh, I didn't well, understand a lot. Okay, so imagine that I just enter like this. I'm just going yeah, to do like yes, this. Yes, yes, uh, yes. And then you, you do no, this. No, no, no. I mean, I mean, understood the meaning. Okay, I, I know how to, to get uh, with it. But, you know, I, I don't know what is happened, what was happened to me. <laughs> I don't worry. You can do it again. So uh, that's okay. what I was I want to tell you. I mean, if it's red, you can yes. just change it. You can change it and then submit it again. So, oh, really? Yeah. Did I? Okay. <laughs> so you can just, for example, this is correct, but this is not correct. And I say, oh, okay. this one. And you can send it again and you can check if it's correct. So you can check okay. as many times as you want. And then you send it again until you have the 20 points. Okay. Thank you. I didn't know it. Very well. Okay. That's why we're here. Don't worry. <laughs> Good. Perfect. So let's check about the attendance on the class. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Alejandra Michelle Hueso Najera. Present teacher. Good. Ana Selmi Chavez. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Manuel. Present teacher. Ah, ok. 
Uh, Maybe Coromoto García de Calderón. Present. Good. Manuel Antonio Palma. Present. Good evening. Good evening. María Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Present teacher. Good. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Silvia Suleima Rodríguez de González. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present teacher. Good. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Good. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Present. Very good. Everybody's here, right? So nobody's missing. Okay, so we're going to start with the first homework, okay? The first homework is about the words that you are going to explain to the class. Okay, so in the chat, the only thing that you need to do is to enter the, the word. Then you have to explain the word and provide an example. So I'm going to do uh, the first word, okay? Only one word, so an example for you. Uh, for example, do you know... How do you say, uh, I don't know if you know that one, but uh, how do you say volado in English? Anybody knows? Oh, it's the thing, I think. There is a word for volado in English, yeah. Oh, I, I don't know. I... <laughs> volado, like the Spanish, the Salvadorian people called it volado? Yeah, volado? like. Like, pasame el volado. Okay. So, something. Okay. 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 So, that is the word that I'm going to share with you. So, here in the chat, I'm going to send the word. And I'm going to explain you. So, whatchamacallit. What? what? <laughs> A whatchamacallit is that. Something that you don't know the name. It's like, give me the whatchamacallit, right? And, and you don't know what is that either. So, you can do that one. So, that is the word in English for, let's say, volado. Okay. Uh, and you can say that in uh, in any expression. So you can say, give me the whatchamacallit. You know, my mother used to tell me, please give me the whatchamacallit that is in front of the other whatchamacallit uh, next to the red whatchamacallit. And it's like, what? I don't know what you're talking about. But that's the way it is in El Salvador, right? So that is it. That is the way that we're going to do that. So the question is, who wants to be the first one? Two words. Okay, Manuel is the first. Okay. okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, yes, I I uh, I found this word. Uh, most year. Okay. Uh, it's referred uh, like a a Muslim temple. Uh, talking about uh, the religion of uh, Muslim, right? Uh, this is a, a place of of public worship. Mm, um, okay. I'll, I'll have more information. A Muslim place of worship, usually having one of more uh, mind. Minorists and often decorate with traces uh, in texts from the the Quran. Okay. And also, this word is called a uh, mosque, mosque. Ah, the mosque. Yeah, I knew that word. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, that's all, teacher. Oh, perfect. Very good. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Very interesting. Nice. I now... have two words. Okay. Go ahead. I have to watch. I have learned uh, this week uh, dim, to dim. I didn't know it. To dim, to run. The manner to uh, the, um, the man drew up a plan for the project. When something, we have learned here when something is damn effective uh, to handle, to consider. 
it was very nice because it, it has a lot of meaning. The drawn up proposal has been submitted to the board. I have always been drawn to ancient ruins. The information drawn from the book appears in the book, in the report. The plan was drawn up to be implemented in five stages. I found it uh, very nice, a lot of meanings. And also I have learned a John to a joint meeting, break off a meeting, legal case or game, with the intention of resuming it later or put off or postpone. On the another one that I didn't know was mumbling. Last night you have explained it. It was also new for me, mumbling. Ah, yeah, mumbling is a very good, and actually mumbling is very, very uh, common. Mumbling is when you, you don't know how to say something and you are stopped, uh -huh. you, you say like, oh, uh, uh, um, uh -huh. like that. That one will yes. be mumbling, right? So, and adjourn, yeah, that is a very good word that I remember, which is very good. Perfect. Thank you very much, maybe. Thank you. Very good. We have two people already. Who wants to be the next? Nobody. Uh-huh. Okay, I am going to choose. Um, me, teacher. Very good. Maria Elena. Only give me a second. Of course. I stay in my computer. <laughs> I am choice three works that I am reading in the chat when you send it. And in the context, I understand. But sometimes it is good to uh, read some, some more. And the first uh, work is written. Um, three them uh, is a uh, means to express an intention or desire to a cause harm, danger, or disastrous to someone or something. It involves um, covering the possibility of negative consequence or action uh, to intimidate or create fear. This is great treatment. Very good. Uh, could you please do me a favor and send the word only there in the chat, in the Zoom chat? Uh, okay. Thank you. Ah, perfect. Very good. Um, I read, uh, you can produce verbal treatment, uh, physical treatment, um, treating behavior, and um, economic treatment too, and implicit treatment in many things about, but it's very large. <laughs> and okay. I don't remember. And <laughs> um, other works is, Mm, pattern. Okay. I write. Please, yes. Yeah. Pattern. Very good. Pattern mm, you can use for um geometric pattern and this work uh, refers uh, a recurring or repeated arrangement or um, you can use it for a design too uh, involved um, repetition uh, of one element or predictive um, sequence uh, for example, in geometric, how do you say circle, um, tri triangle, and mm -hmm. you can say other circle, <laughs> and you other triangle, 
is a pattern in geometric, for example, for example, um, floral pattern is other um, form for the use. Um, language pattern, when you explain a, a grammatical and water pattern. Other works is a German. German. Hey. A German uh, you can use in a legal context when may occur when a, a judge temporarily suspends um, a trial or hearing and stays a new day for the proceeding of needing continue. Um, I'm reading about, let me see. <laughs> uh, you can refer court adjournment, uh, par parliamentary adjournment, meeting adjournment that is in the CND class, uh, committee adjournment, um, assembly adjournment when you stay, I stop and take a day for beginning. Okay. Very good, perfect, very nice, Maria Elena. Congratulations, it was very, very good. Thank you very much. Okay, who wants to be the next one? Okay, I choose, I guess. Let's see uh, who did it already. Wendy Maribel. Sorry, I don't understand. Do you do in this moment? It's the homework. Uh, all this week, we've been discussing about the homework for today. I don't know. Eh, toda la semana estuvimos recordando el traer tres palabras y lo de la agenda ¿verdad? ah pues no entendí lo siento ok so todos los viernes tres palabras se, tres palabras Ajá. nuevas les explica y da un ejemplo ok pero la agenda si sí la trae ¿verdad? porque esa sí la vamos a hacer para agenda. ahora también tiene que traer una agenda y hacer una meeting con todos los demás eso es para ahora y eso sí quisiera que lo hiciera entonces te, tomas el tiempo ahorita de fabricarla y cuando ya le toque okay. 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 very good, perfect so let's check with Carla Vázquez teacher, I'm sorry I have a problem today change the the laptop and I lost my file Oh, really? In this month, <laughs> yes, it's very problem because um, uh, I am uh, find my my file, but I don't I don't see where are. Okay. Uh, let Let me try. I okay. I continue uh, search my document. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, of course. Yeah. Let's check with then Edwin Alexander. Well, I'm sorry, teacher, but I didn't have no words at the moment. Okay, but please do it by the next Friday, okay? Every Friday we have to do that. Sorry, thank you. Okay, Susana Beatriz. Sorry, teacher. Only that uh, I have uh, the the come the platform uh, the other homework no okay I don't so, can't every Friday please uh, solo que la agenda aunque no la tengan hecha sí la vamos a hacer verdad es así todos la vamos a hacer porque es la práctica okay, de la semana eh, pero okay, las palabras sorry 
Ya la hicieron ahora, no hay problema, pero todos los viernes hay que traer dos, tres palabras. Everybody, please. Ah, ok, teacher. It's part Sorry, of the teacher. practice. No worries, that, that's not a problem. A la Patricia. Ok, teacher. I understand the task in this way. Okay. And my word is the useless. Ok. And definition. Um, not having value or purpose. Ok. And the example, if you won't take the medicine that they give you, going to the doctor is useless. 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 And synonyms, um, impractical and ineffective. Okay, good. Okay, and the second word is encourage. Yeah. Definition, to make someone more determined, hopeful, or, conf or confident. And the example, they encourage use us, but encourage us in our work. And the synonyms, in, inspire and is her time. Very good. And, uh -huh, go ahead. Yeah. Go. No. Okay. That's it. I, no, that yes. was very good. Perfect. Thank you, Ada Patricia. So okay. that was the way it is. Let's see. Teacher. Hello. I can share my three words because of in course. this moment I I need to uh, write. A, uh, very good. I yeah. come, but I have my three words. Perfect. Uh, the first word is um, desire. Desire is noun and verb. In the noun, it means is um, a strong, a strong feeling of wanting to have something or wishing for example uh, i decide to work in the dirt with your bare hands in in the case in the bear is a strongly wish for a for or want something and um, i never achieve the status he so decided to. desire is noun in bear for, for me, it's a new, new bird in the new noun. And the other is misunderstood. Misunderstood is an adjective. It means is incorrectly interpreted or understood. The example, this, the, uh, sorry, he is one of football's most misunderstood men in the last word is adjournment adjournment the means is a pause okay. or rest a pause or rest during a formal meeting or the act of giving a pause pause pause, pause is right teacher pause yeah, or a pause. rest yeah. a pause, yeah. pause or rest. Or rest is fine okay is example the defense defense attorney request an adjournment. Adjournment for me is the new work. Very good. Adjournment. Adjournment. Very nice. Perfect. Yes. Thank you very much, Anasami. When you drive home, please be careful. Yes. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Very nice. It seems that adjournment is very popular words. <laughs> nice. Very good. Let's see uh, Sylvia Suleyma. Good evening. Good evening. Um, I don't work the homework. Oh, I don't God. understand this 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 homework. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, so uh, but ahora sí ya lo entiende lo que estamos haciendo. Sí. Ah, yes. Perfecto. Quizá para todo, verdad? Cuando alguna cosa no se entienda, me preguntan, verdad? Con mucha, mucha libertad. Y si en inglés no nos entendemos, en español también se puede. 
ok, porque uh, es bien importante que vayamos avanzando, ¿verdad? A veces, pues yo digo y muchos me dicen sí, a veces les digo, do you have any questions? Y no hay questions, ¿verdad? Pero si hay preguntas, con confianza me preguntan. Y si aquí no me quieren preguntar, en el chat también. Mire, fíjese que eso no lo entendí. Y si no lo quieren hacer en el grupo, me quieren preguntar a mí solito, ¿verdad? También me pueden escribir y decirme, mire, fíjese, por favor, yo no sé qué hay que hacer ahí, ¿verdad? O si algo en la plataforma no funciona, a veces suceden esas cosas. O, o cualquier pregunta que tengan, a veces encuentran una palabra que dicen, mire, esa la encontré en un reading y no sé qué es, ¿verdad? Ah, o tienen alguna, alguna, alguna cosa, entonces me preguntan y con gusto la vemos. It's very important, ¿ok? Ok, let's see. Me, teacher? Good, Gloria. Let's see with Gloria. Ok. Uh, the words that were um, new to me uh, this week, this week uh, are number one, three, three a team. A threaten. Yeah. The uh, defin definition, definition, sí. Uh, but the, the res restriction imposed by the statute here three attempts serious deterioration deterioration mm, I don't know how is that word to be honest with you I have to but, see it <laughs> of the of the judicial function example oh, okay. They threatened to fight him if he had three unjustified absences. Okay, number two, chill good. Uh, eight, the state of period of begin a chill. B, the early state in the existence, sometime the infancy of the human race. The example is our childhood has a tremendous impact on our future relationship. And number three is incorrect uh, definition, the help something feel confident and capable of doing some sometimes or advice someone to do something. Uh, example, uh, teacher Eric encouraged me with the English spirit. Good. <laughs> okay. okay, only only that. Very good, perfect. Thank you very much, Gloria. That was amazing. Very nice. Um, let's see. Uh, Maria Elena did it. Uh, Hernandez Iraeta. I don't know who you are. Let me check. Not possible, I guess. That is, let's see. Ah, Susana Carolina. Not possible. Walter said that he's working, so it's not possible for him. Alejandra Michelle. Uh, teacher, I have uh, one word. Okay. In this mo in this moment, okay. and it is the word um is sorry is impound impound a uh, is appropriating the competent authority. Of Americans, Americans, I don't remember the pronunciation of the words. But that's fine. You, huh? The Americans for huh? being prohibited or for trading with it illegally. Okay. Very good. Perfect. Uh -huh. Okay. And I have one, one word in this moment. Okay. That is fine. Perfect. Thank you very much, Alejandra. Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, Mario Villeda, did you do the homework? Not. Okay. Adriana Stephanie. 
Hello, teacher. Give me a moment, please. Okay. I, okay. I arrived to home. Okay, I, perfect. Be thank careful. you, teacher. All right. Uh, nobody else is missing. Uh, Carla, were you able to find it? No, not yet. Uh, were you able to find your files? No, I don't have my files. Okay. Yet. No worries. Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, en general, compañeros, uh, sí, verdad. Les hago el encouragement de que si algo no se entiende, ya sea gramática o algo que se dice en la clase o alguna tarea, alguna cosa, sin pena, verdad. Sin pena me preguntan. Uh, solo pues me dicen que es específico. Yo esto no lo entendí. Y yo les vuelvo a repetir. Eh, igual me pueden escribir, ¿verdad? Yo les, eh, igual al, al chat grupal o me pueden escribir también individual. Eh, mire esto, pues, no lo entendí, ¿verdad? Y eso pasa a veces. Creo que hay algo que sucedió anteriormente en el grupo, no sé, todos estamos en niveles diferentes. ¿Ok? Eso es normal. Es normal que no vamos a estar todos en el mismo nivel de inglés. Pero... Si sí, eh, han avanzado tres, tendríamos que hablar un poquito más fluido y tendría que ser un poquito más, uh, tendríamos que tener un poco más de vocabulario. Entonces, tenemos la tarea entre todos, y yo les voy a ayudar, de tratar de subir ese nivel. Es muy importante, ¿verdad? Hago el anuncio en español pues, para que nos entendamos, ¿verdad? Pero yo hablo, ¿verdad? Como que estamos en el avanzado tres. So, yo empiezo a hablar, yeah, we are, we are, blah, 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 blah. Y pues yo, si cuando digo, vaya alguna pregunta, no me dicen nada, yo digo, pues se entendió todo, ¿verdad? Pero yo entiendo de que a veces hay cosas que, pues, que no se entienden. O igual, pues, los readings, a mí me gustan mucho los readings porque va toda la teoría, ¿verdad? Y estamos viendo las palabras. Podemos entender los conceptos, podemos ver las palabras nuevas, podemos chequear las pronunciaciones. No todas las clases van a ser de reading, ¿verdad? Esta clase, de hecho, la de los viernes siempre es más de práctica, es más vimos algo en la semana y ahora pues vamos a venir y vamos a hacer algo con eso que vimos en la semana ¿verdad? ahora, sí es importante que vayamos puliendo verdad los avanzados son para pulir para agarrar vocabulario pero vocabulario avanzado gramática avanzada y para, para hablar verdad, para hablar todo lo que se puede hablar Ahora, como les digo, yo entiendo que quizás sucedió algo en los otros grupos, en los otros niveles, ¿verdad? Porque yo he dado los avanzados, el 2, el 3, el 5, el, incluso el 6, que es el último, y las preparaciones para el, uh, para el TOEFL. Y sí, la mayoría de compañeros pues ya hablan bastante y nos entendemos bastante. Entonces, no importa lo que haya pasado antes, ahora lo que tenemos que empezar a hacer es, primero, para aprender inglés, lo primero que tenemos que hacer es entender de qué estamos hablando. Tenemos que entender, ¿verdad? Si yo les explico una gramática, tenemos que entenderla. Si yo les estoy explicando un concepto y lo estamos viendo ahí, tenemos que entenderlo. No podemos ir palabra por palabra en todos los uh, comerciales. No podemos ir palabra por palabra porque pues estamos avanzados y tenemos que ir avanzando pues en eso. Pero todos también en los readings podemos agarrar las palabras y anotarlas, ¿verdad? Y podemos investigarlas. Y si de plano no entendemos, como les digo, me pueden escribir. O sea, yo estoy también para ayudarles. Yo tengo otro trabajo que no tiene nada que ver con las clases de inglés. Trabajo en Google. Pero pues, de repente yo veo el chat ahí y, y yo les escribo, ¿verdad? Les digo, no, esto se hace así, ¿verdad? Se hace de esta manera, ¿verdad? Es muy importante esa parte. Porque si no entendemos, no podemos practicar, ¿verdad? Es lo primero. Lo primero es entender. No se va a entender el 100% lo que yo les hablo, porque como les digo, yo hablo como que estamos en avanzado. Trae, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí he visto que hay niveles diferentes, pero hay bastante, ¿verdad? Estamos así como en totalmente diferentes. Hay personas que hablan bien fluido, ¿verdad? Hay otras personas que hablan poquito y hay personas que a veces les pregunto y me dicen, a saber qué me dijo, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, tenemos que llegar, ¿verdad? Tenemos que llegar a eso. También otra recomendación es, la clase es para pulir, pero ustedes también pueden investigar, ¿verdad? Pueden practicar por su cuenta. Yo sé que tenemos el trabajo y tenemos la familia, tenemos que hacer muchas cosas, entiendo eso. Pero 15 minutos al día, yo pienso que 15 minutos es good, 
to practice. Si quieren que les mande links para que practiquen, para que vayan viendo temas o algo por el estilo, yo se los puedo mandar. Estamos para ayudar. ¿Verdad? Entonces, pero sí es importante porque imagínense que se gradúen de todo el inglés, pero pues no podemos hablar, siento yo que, que hay un gap ahí. O al menos que podamos hablar algo, ¿verdad? Porque sí, salimos de inglés y no salimos al 100%, es mentira. Eso tiene que seguirse trabajando, tiene que seguir haciéndose. Es una cuestión, eh, es un proceso, es un proceso a largo plazo que nosotros tenemos. Y lo primero también que quiero que sepan es que tengan la confianza de preguntarme, ¿verdad? Me preguntan y, y vamos más lento, vamos leyendo, ¿verdad? Eh, vamos haciendo cosas diferentes. Tengo varias dinámicas que vamos a hacer más adelante, pero tenemos que entendernos, ¿verdad? Porque si no nos entendemos, eh, eso es lo que sucede. Entonces, no sé cómo vamos, ¿verdad? Eh, como les digo, el viernes es más para practicar. De repente, cuando terminamos las prácticas, siempre nos quedamos platicando uno con uno, ¿verdad? Eh, con los que ya estuve anteriormente, saben que me gusta platicar bastante y de repente hacemos a un lado el libro. Y mire cómo está, ¿verdad? ¿Qué tal por allá por donde vive? Y usted, eh, no sé, hablamos de muchas cosas. Entonces vamos a ir uniendo varias dinámicas. Sí hacemos la de la lectura, sí vemos lo del libro, pero también vamos a hacer otras cosas. Y es importante eso, ¿verdad? Que vayamos subiendo de nivel. Pongamos atención también cuando los compañeros hablan. Hay compañeros aquí que hablan muy bien, que hablan fluido, que tienen muy buena pronunciación. Por ejemplo, la pronunciación de Maybe me gusta mucho porque es... Es bien inglesa, ¿verdad? Es bien UK, es diferente. Y podemos aprender de esa pronunciación. Y todos hablamos diferentes, eso es lo interesante, es lo bonito. Por eso a veces me gusta que ustedes hablen y yo no hablo, ¿verdad? Porque yo, a mí se, se acostumbran a mi hablado y todo, pero cuando ustedes hablan también tenemos que entendernos, ¿verdad? Es muy importante. Así de que no tengan pena de preguntar. Yo siempre les pregunto, ustedes se dan cuenta en todas las clases, ¿Do you have any questions? No me dicen, vale, entonces sigamos, ¿verdad? Pero si hay preguntas, paramos. Y si de plano no me entienden algo, pues en, en español y nos movemos y avanzamos, ¿verdad? Les puedo explicar en español y luego practicamos. Pero tenemos que sí, dar el salto, ¿verdad? No tengan miedo también. El miedo hay que hacerlo a un lado. Porque todos nos vamos a equivocar, ¿verdad? La gente, la gente de Estados Unidos que solo habla inglés, ellos se equivocan también. Todos nos equivocamos al hablar. Eso no es algo más allá. Lo bueno es corregirlo, ¿verdad? Ir puliendo, como les digo. El avanzado sirve más para pulir, para agarrar fluidez, para, eh, no sé, pues, llegar a otro nivel. Entonces, eh, tratemos, tratemos de alcanzar a los demás, tratemos de ir. Cada quien sabemos más o menos por dónde estamos, ¿verdad? Y como les digo, si ustedes quieren que les envíe ejercicios, yo todos los días les puedo enviar ejercicios. Por mí, no hay problema. Links de práctica, ¿verdad?, Pueden ver videos en YouTube. Hay muchas prácticas que podemos hacer. Una de las más importantes en el nivel avanzado que yo recomiendo es que piensen en inglés. Usted se levanta en la mañana y usted piensa, bueno, voy a comer huevitos con tocino y voy a ir a hacer ejercicio y luego voy a ir a platicar con mi amiga. Todo eso lo puede pensar en inglés. Y si usted para y dice eso, no sé cómo decirlo, busca la palabra y mañana ya la va a poder utilizar. Así, poco a poco. Empezar a pensar en inglés es muy importante, ¿verdad? Porque así, en automático, nos vamos a ir. Vamos a pensar y vamos a hablar sin pensar. Muchos ya hablan hacia aquí. Muchos hablan y, y, y ahí va, ¿verdad? Y hay errores, pues, pero, pero se entiende. Se entiende lo que estamos diciendo. Entonces, eso es muy importante. Con confianza, ¿verdad? Eso es muy, muy importante. Que tengamos confianza en los compañeros, ¿verdad? Y que me tengan confianza en mí para, para decirme, ¿verdad? Mire, fíjese que eso no lo entendí. Veamos. También recordemos que hay un programa que hay que seguir, ¿verdad? Que hay una estructura, ¿verdad? Que es lo de Insafor que nos ha dado y tenemos que seguirlo, pues. Pero, como les digo yo, también yo hago pausas, hacemos dinámicas. Eh, tengo una, una, la otra semana vamos a hacer un dictado, ¿verdad? Ahí se preparan porque les voy a dictar. Esa es una práctica muy buena. Hay otra práctica en la que vamos a leer un párrafo rápido para agarrar fluidez. O sea, tenemos actividades que están diseñadas para el avanzado, pero tenemos que ir, ¿verdad? Y igual participar en la clase, ¿verdad? Yo sé que estamos cansados de venir del trabajo, eh, muchas cosas. Yo los entiendo porque yo me levanto a las 4 de la mañana y es pesado, ¿verdad? Pero aquí estamos y hay que aprovechar, ¿verdad? Ya que tenemos la, uh, la oportunidad. Bueno, paramos el comercial and we are going to continue. Very good. So, I have a little... I'm sorry, go ahead. 
no, teacher, yo solo quería compartir algo con, con los compañeros y es que, por ejemplo, la gente que viene de visita aquí al país, que no habla español, a los tres, cuatro, cinco días ya andan hablando un poco de español, pero porque no les da pena decir las cosas patas arriba como decimos nosotros. Entonces a nosotros no nos tienen que dar pena tampoco porque de cualquier manera ellos nos entienden. Eh, y hasta que se nos quita la pena es como cuando nosotros podemos arrancar. Y eso también va para mí pues porque de repente uno también se siente como medio intimidado porque la gente lo escucha hablar, pero yo veo esa gente que no habla nada de español y a los tres días andan hablando. Obviamente no, no lo hablan bien, como le digo, cruzan las palabras, pero ellos van aprendiendo porque no le da pena. Y es lo que a veces a nosotros nos pasa. Perfecto, gracias. Sí, también entiendo de que tuvieron mucho tiempo eh, sin la clase, eso impacta definitivamente. Ah, eso sí, están diciendo de que tuvieron varios meses y ahí se apaga uno, ¿verdad? Entonces, pero aquí estamos hablando, ¿verdad? Entonces, lancémonos uh -huh. de cabeza, ¿verdad? Vamos con todo, eh, somos amigos aquí, aquí nadie, nadie va a señalar a nadie, nunca ha pasado eso y nunca va a pasar, ¿verdad? Y aquí, eh, al revés, nos reímos de la vida, ¿verdad? Hacemos chistes de cosas, pero nunca de los compañeros. Así es de que los que ya me conocen, ya saben de que de repente hablamos de cosas bien profundas a veces, a veces hablamos de cosas eh, interesantes, de tecnología, de cosas por el estilo, entonces hablamos de todo un poco, eh, hay que lanzarse, ¿verdad? Entiendo pues esa pausa que tuvieron también impacta, pero hay que ir agarrando ahí ¿verdad? la pila. Y, 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 algo, y, y, sí se siente el impacto realmente, hace falta porque pues fueron cinco meses básicamente seis meses casi los que estuvimos en espera, entonces eh, sí se siente definitivamente el retroceso. Sí, yo les entiendo, ¿verdad? Eso es, eso es normal. Si uno no practica, mm -hmm. definitivamente hay un impacto. Y sí, pues a veces Insafor tiene ciertos gaps, ¿verdad? En el que pues a veces si no está el grupo completo no se inicia. Hay muchas cosas y yo los entiendo, pero estamos aquí ahora ya arrancamos, estamos para ayudarnos, ¿verdad? Entonces, lo que necesiten, yo estoy para ayudarles también, ¿verdad? Si ustedes saben de que ya me han preguntado cosas, hemos hablado de tantas cosas y vamos a seguir hablando de tantas cosas. Y el objetivo es, pues, como les dije la vez pasada, reunirnos algún día por allá por Nueva York y hablar solo inglés, ¿verdad? Y hablar súper fluido, súper nice. Entonces, eh, la invitación es esa, ¿verdad? Los entiendo, yo sé que es complejo y yo sé que por ejemplo, Maybe tengo entendido que es la primera vez que está con nosotros en estos módulos y sé que tal vez eh, se va adaptando también al, al, al cómo se hacen las cosas, pero porque se tienen que hacer yeah. de cierta manera, ¿verdad? Entonces, pero, pero, ella habla mucho y eso me gusta, pues ella se lanza y pregunta, ¿verdad? Y yo le contesto y todo. That is nice. That is amazing. So, sin pena, ¿verdad? Estamos aquí para ayudarnos y pues... Eh, hay, que, hay que darle. Hay mucha gente que ha avanzado, la verdad es que sí se le, se le siente, ¿verdad? Hay gente que tenía mucha pena antes cuando estábamos en intermedio y ahora veo que se lanzan. Eso es bueno. Tenemos cuatro semanas más y yo esperaría que al final de la cuarta, de la, de la quinta semana, pues estamos un poquito mejor. Y no paren, ¿verdad? Si Infrafor para por X razón, sigamos practicando, ¿verdad? Hagamos un grupo si ustedes quieren de todos nosotros y sigamos ahí platicando en inglés, ¿verdad? Eso... Nadie nos detiene, podemos mandarnos saludos ahí, hello, how are you, good Friday, o algo por el estilo, y ahí nos vamos, o sea, estamos para ayudar, ok. All right, so before we go to the second homework, recordemos que tenemos un segundo, una segunda tarea que es la agenda y la meeting, ¿verdad? Ok, so before that, no more Spanish, of course, before that uh, we are going to check about uh, the topic of tonight. It's going to be very easy because it's something that we checked already, okay? And this is um, when we use two verbs. Remember that this is happening when we have two verbs. And in this case, we're going to include a noun, okay? So remember that a noun is the name of something. Table, Carlos, my friend, the man with the black shirt, all that is a noun, okay? It can be a proper noun or it can be a common noun. It doesn't matter. So the structure is like that. Sometimes it's possible to use two verbs. The first verb 
is in normal way. Okay, the first verb can be in, in present, in past, in future, whatever you want. Then we're going to have the noun. It can be a noun or a pronoun. And then we are going to use the infinitive. So the first example, the first verb is advice. Okay, look at the structure. I advised, so that is the first verb, advised in past in this example. Them, them is the noun. To see, that is the infinitive. Remember that the infinitive is the base form of the verb. Almost always, not always, but almost always, we can use that with to, to see, to go, to jump, to eat. So that is the structure. It's very easy. I advised, first verb, them, that is the noun, to see the infinity, and the rest of the complement. I advise them to see a doctor. And we have a list of verbs. So we have advise, allow, cause, convince, enable, encourage. Somebody said about encourage today. Force, get, that is to cause to, and hire. Those are the first examples. So before we continue, do you have any questions? Not. No questions. Very good. Let's check the pronunciation. Okay. I'm going to tell you the example so you see or you listen to the pronunciation. I advised, remember that the pronunciation of the ED is very important. I advised them to see a doctor. Ireland doesn't allow people to smoke in bars. Look again. Ireland doesn't allow, that is the first verb. People, that is the noun to smoke, that is the infinitive. So Ireland doesn't allow people to smoke in bars. The next one is cows. He caused her to make a mistake. Caused is the first verb. Her is the noun. To make is the infinitive. He caused her to make a mistake. Ned convinced me to quit my job. Again, the same thing, right? Convinced is the first verb. Me is the pronoun. To quit is the infinitive. Ned convinced me to quit my job. Uh, do you remember what is quit? Anybody knows what is quit? Yes. To abandon. Abandon. Very good. So you say Does goodbye. <laughs> yeah, that is it, right? So you say goodbye and that's it, right? So Ned convinced me to quit my job. Uh, maybe that is not good. Enable. Enable is like can, remember? So financial aid enabled the students to pay such expensive tuition fees. Same thing. Enable is the principal verb. The students is the noun. To pay is the infinitive. Such expensive tuition fees. Do you know what is tuition? What you pay to to be able to enter to the university or private school, private school it. or university. Perfect. That is it. The tuition are the fees or the payment that you pay. The fees. Uh -huh, for for when, when you want to study. Okay. For example, in the United States, uh, when you are going to enter to the university, you have to pay everything. Right. It's very expensive because the what. The quote monthly for the education teacher. Well, in, in El Salvador, it's monthly. In the case and, in the... uh -huh. That is that's going to be the tuition, yeah. Uh, tuition, in other yeah. countries, in the United States, for example, you have to pay everything in the beginning. Annual. Oh. All the career, the four or five the years. Mm -hmm. So they say, okay, you are going to inscribe to the university, give me the $40,000, right? So... <laughs> is very expensive. That's why when you have children in the United States, from the very first year, they have to save money, right? Because it's very, very expensive. And there are some universities that are, I mean, $40,000 is nothing, right? 
So, for example, if you are going to study in Harvard, that is so expensive. Anyways, let's move on. Encourage. Yeah, I believe that Ada was speaking about this word, encourage. So when you motivate people, right? When you say, you can do it. So he encourages, look at that, encourages. That is simply present tense. He encourages his patients, that is the noun, to eat, that is the, the uh, infinitive, healthy foods. So he encourages, remember the pronunciation is very important, encourages. He encourages his patients to eat healthy food. Nice. The next one says force. The commander forced pass, right? The commander forced the soldiers to march in the rain. Ah, that's not good. Okay, force is the principal verb. The soldiers is the noun. And to march is the infinity. Teacher, um, in the case in the infinity form, the, the main pair is possible in the present, in the past, the, the main verb. In the case, the, the sentence include the noun. The noun is between the main verb and the infinitive. Perfect, that the, is correct. Always the infinitive the, is um, present, the verb. Actually, the infinitive is infinitive. It's not present or infinitive. past. Uh -huh. that is the four is infinitive. And the four is the, the basic, uh, the verb. Yeah, exactly. So the infinitive is the base uh -huh. form of the verb. Almost always with two. To go. To, to go. Be. To the, the, the four is infinitive. Yeah. That is the form. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Very good. Perfect. Very good. So, and the other one says get. Isabel got Mike to wash her car. So in this case, cows too is the meaning of get. So Isabel made Mike to wash her car. So he she said to Mike, hey, you have to do this one, right? So, so Isabel got Mike to wash her car. You, uh, here the first verb got is in past. Mike is a noun. And then the infinitive, to wash. Okay? Get, I, I believe that uh, my maybe was telling us about that some words have many meanings and that happens i mean if you go I, I i guess i told you this before i have a dictionary here in english it's amazing it's very big only only the the word get has three pages of meanings three pages and that's why in this level in the advanced we need to understand that that one word it's not that in Spanish is the meaning of this. That word has different usage. So you use in this way, depending on the on what you're doing, on what you're saying, what is the context, or you're using in another way. You know that some words can be a verb and an adverb or a verb and an adjective. That happens a lot in English. How you are going to identify that one? Because we need to understand how is the word used in a sentence. So it's not the same to say get in, that get out, or get down, or get up, or get around. It's get, but it's different. It's totally, totally different. Okay? And that is something very important that we need to know. Last one says higher. What is higher, anybody? To get someone under contract. Yes, give a job. <laughs> yeah, that is something amazing, right? When you get a job and you say, I made it very good. So hire, that is the opposite of fire. So it says, Mr. Donnelly hired Sarah to work as a receptionist. The same. Hire is the main verb in past in this case. Sarah is the noun. And to work, that is the infant. Good. Do you have any question? Yes, teacher. Um... Yesterday, I I was making, or I was working the, the exercise of platform, mm -hmm. uh, but I I I'm, I I don't I didn't 
uh, continue because uh, I don't know if the for the platform or if for the how do you say uh, aparato device. Uh, okay, for my device because when I when I am working, uh, if I had the uh, a little time, I I I work I work in the in the platform, but I stopped because in the 2.2 uh, for you uh, consider uh, the four yes the five the the five items um, mm -hmm. uh, it's okay but for example for example uh, the exercise is my supervisor. We have two, two places in blank. Uh, me a nice live presentation before next Friday. Uh, I don't know why the platform don't accept me uh, the correct, uh, the correct uh, uh, answer. Answer, yes. Uh, I try in one, uh, nothing. I try the second one, nothing, for example. And then continue uh, the, the, the instruction is go over the following exercise, type the entire sentence using the information provided, provided in brackets. Right? I, I try and only two uh, exercises accept me, accept me the uh, the answer, but the others, uh, I don't know. I please uh, help help us. Uh, I, I don't know if if uh, someone have the the, the same uh, problem. But okay, I, I please uh, help us. And I try to 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 work in my PC. Uh, maybe I have I have best result in that. Okay, uh, yeah, let's do something. I'm going to finish this topic and then we're going to check into that one, okay? Okay, 2.2. 2.2. Yeah, another thing is that remember that this is a topic that we haven't checked yet. But anyways, we're going to check into that one, okay? Yeah, be, be, because when I, I when I saw this uh, this class uh, that, that you are giving uh, right now, I remember uh, the, 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 the exercise are like this, this one. Okay. Okay, let's finish this and then we're Thank going you. to check in the exercise. Okay? Thank you. I'm sorry, teacher. Oh, no, it's a, it's a pleasure. It's, a, it's good. I mean, whenever you have questions, tell me, okay? Uh, we're here to help you out. So just a few examples more. This is going to be exactly the same, okay? We have other verbs here. Invite, order, permit, remind, require, tell, urge, and warn. And the structure is exactly the same. For example, we invited them to join us. The same, right? Uh, the police ordered him to put his hands in the air. Exactly the same structure. California doesn't permit people to fish without a fishing license. Same structure. They reminded me to pay the bills before the end of the month. Same. The certificate requires students to complete two courses. Same thing. He told me to shut up. Okay, that's a good one. Nice. Uh, they urge citizens to recycle bottles and paper. Urge is like when you ask to people, but you say this is very important, right? This is something that is really, really important. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. And the last one says, she warned him not to be late. Warn, as in warning, right? A warning that you say to other people. So you can see that the examples are the same. So it's something that we can in include in our vocabulary and start using them, okay? Uh, do you have any questions with these examples? No, teacher. Okay, so I guess we have more. Uh, 
these are other ones. Uh, the difference between these ones is, and the other one is that in these ones, with these specific verbs, we can use to or we cannot use to. That is the difference. So, for example, ask. She asked to leave. Or she asked him to leave. Uh, I mean, uh, you can use the noun. I mean, that's the one that you can use or not. So you can say him or not. Okay. I choose to help out. I choose him to help out. So you can use the noun or not. They expect to arrive early. They expect him to arrive early. So him is possible to use it or not. That is the only difference here. Okay. I need to clean the house. I need her to clean the house. They prepared but, to take the rest. Uh -huh. uh, excuse me, Eric, but I think if I say if I say she asked to leave, uh, it's more so general the meaning. But if I say she asked him to leave, it is uh, she is asking someone specific. Exactly. And it's the same with another one. So, so they are two different meanings. I mean, I ask you, is if they are two different meanings? Uh, the meaning is similar, but you are right. When you use the, the noun or the pronoun. The noun. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a specific and you know what you're talking about. Let's say that the first part, the first example, is when you're in a conversation and you know what you're talking about. So in those kinds of situations, you can use the noun or not. And it's correct. Both are correct. Uh, but it's very common or the most common is to say him or her or my friend. Uh, because, I mean, in that case, it's very specific and you know what you're talking about. But that is very common. But if with these specific verbs, you can use the noun or not. It, it's up to you. Okay. But, I mean, yeah. In my case, for example, I prefer to say uh, I want my son to study Spanish. It's better for me, right? It's, it's most un more understandable for people. So that is it. I mean, these are the verbs for this kind of specific uh, examples. I'm going to send you this uh, on the group, on the chat, so you have them, all uh, right? So do you have any questions about this? Let's read about them. They expect to arrive early. They expect him to arrive early. I need to clean the house. I need her to clean the house. They prepare to take the test. They prepare her to take the test. She promised to stop smoking. She promised him to stop smoking. He threatened to live forever. He threatened her to live forever. I want to study Spanish. I want my son to study Spanish. I wish to stay. I wish him to stay. It says that a rare form, but it's not rare. It's, it's fine. Uh, we would like to start now. We would like him to start now. So that is it. Questions? No questions. Okay, so let's let's check about the exercise that you were discussing. Which number is the exercise? Uh, two point two. Teacher. Yes. Teacher, sorry. Uh, are you returning the page? The uh, example. The question. The sentences. Please, uh, I I picture. <laughs> I take a picture. The... Oh, okay, uh -huh. let me just check. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, teacher, I, I I ask you please if you could uh, send 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 this uh, uh, sentence uh, in the chat because yes. for me is a uh, very useful uh, because I had the. I have the opportunity to, to read it, to read them and practice, please. Very good. Definitely. I can Thank send you. that one. Thank you. Okay. 
And that is the the one, Susana. Let me know if you finish. Thank you, teacher. Perfect. It's a pleasure. Okay. So now let me just go here. And you say 2.2. 2. Let me just go there. 2. I don't know 2. if, if someone uh, mm, okay. have the, 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 the same or, or, or have other uh, issues. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let me just. I'm doing that right now because I haven't done that. Hold on a second. And let's check into that one. Uh, this is something for the next week, but anyways, we can do that one, okay? Let me just go here and check into that one. I'm almost done. Hold on a second. Okay. Uh, it's not letting me do that. Teacher? Yes. Um, okay, I am uh, testing my microphone. Ah, okay. Okay, thank you, teacher. Yeah, we can hear you. Very good. Um, let me just refresh this one. How long a second? It's not taking the answers. For me, the problem is that the button that is a send is not showing that. Hold on a second. I have to refresh and do that once again very quickly. Ah, it's missing something. Mm, okay. That's why. Now I get it. Let me see here. Okay. I'm almost done again. I have to redo it. <laughs> now it's showing. Very good. I have everything here. Ah, uh, but that is not correct. Okay, let me check here. The first part in number four. Yeah, That's, you're right. Doesn't affect me. Only that one or the other ones as well? Uh, the other one, uh, number, the in the second, uh, the first, uh, the first part and the second part, I have okay with the number one, but number two, three, four, does the, don't accept me the okay any i have here the uh, the exercise okay so for everybody this is the exercise 2.2 2. yes okay the one that is not correct is the four the yes. four the problem or the answer actually is needs to work yes yes but if you put any of those if you set any of those it's always incorrect yes so this is an error on the platform and I'm going to report the error, okay? So um, that, I mean, you can do anything. And that is an error. Entonces, para todos, el número cuatro, cualquier respuesta que le pongan, no se la va a aceptar. Es un error que yo voy a reportar, okay? Ya lo vamos a reportar. Las otras sí, las otras sí tienen. Razón. I advise you not to interrupt. Okay, yes. let's, check uh, we, uh, let's check number one. Number one, it has to be, I want you to make you your bed, period. If you don't set the period, it's not going to take it. Yes. Okay, number two. Oh, I guess I remember this one has an error as well. Did you ask Jimmy to take the dog for a walk? Question mark. Oh, uh, no, did you? Uh, please, uh... Come uh, back to the yes yes, okay. You have Jimmy, but in the in the platform is Jim. Exactly. Jim. That is mm -hmm. the error. That is okay. the Okay. So for everybody, it has to say Jimmy. If you don't ah, say Jimmy, okay, it's yes. not going to take it. Mm, Jimmy. Okay. 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 <laughs> yeah, that happens. Yeah. Okay. 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 Let's check number three. Yes. 
on the um, number three, we don't allow our children, I guess also, to eat sweets before meal time period. So is that fine? We don't allow our children to eat sweets before meal time period. Why what how is that one, Manuel? Uh, I don't know, no, don't accept me, but I, I think it's for my uh, my device. Sometimes. Sometimes yes, here I, you have to be careful in yes, the apostrophe. In the, yes, in the in the module uh, preview in the previous module I have the same problem, but when I I work when I work the it in the in the laptop, yes, I could I could I could. Yeah, sometimes the problem is that that the apostrophe there are other mm -hmm. symbols that are very similar but not exactly the same in mm -hmm. the computer. I mean, the platform uh, registered that. So if you uh, get other symbol, it's not going to take. That is going to happen. So another no, thing that, that you can do is to copy and paste that part. Work. Because, uh, yeah, the rest of the of the exercise is, is fine. It's not with a problem. Uh, don't accept me if, if you show your, your answers. Yeah, yeah, that is the answer. I mean... We don't allow we don't children allow. Uh -huh. to eat sweets before meal time. So that is correct. But I we... believe that is. Mm, okay. I believe I believe that is the the apostrophe. Um, don't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Because in the in the answers uh, words in bracket don't don't doesn't have a uh, don't. Ah, Only but not. here, here, okay. here, this here is it says, a... here it says not. If you can see here, mm -hmm. not. not. Uh -huh. So you have to transform the verb. Okay. Allow, allow. Yeah, don't allow our children our uh -huh. to eat sweet, to eat sweet. Okay. before mealtime. Good. Let me, let me try. Uh, yeah, this, this. And number two, I'm sorry, teacher. Did you did you to ask Jimmy? No, did you ask? Ah, did Jimmy? you ask? Mm -hmm. ah. mm -hmm. Yes. Did you ask Jimmy to take the dog for, for a walk? walk? Yeah, and the question mark. Yes. Yes. And number four, please. Yeah, number four. It has to the, be the police the officer. Officer ordered in past. Oh, yes. Ordered me. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, it's in, it's in, in past. It's in past, yeah. Ordered Order. me to yes. move my car move immediately, my car. period. Yes. Okay, let me try. The that police should... officer <laughs> ordered in Order. past. Yeah, ordered mm -hmm. in past. Yes, ordered me uh -huh. to move, to move the, uh -huh. my car immediately. immediately. In the period, uh-huh. Ah, okay, the period. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, okay. Okay, and the last one has to be, I advise you not to interrupt Malcolm during the next meeting. Okay, period. done, teacher. Very good. Very good. Thank Perfect. you for your help. Oh, it's a pleasure. Nice. I'm going to report number four. I mean, yeah. that is not going to... To have the 100%. The yeah, yeah, because here you just have only 20, 18. 20. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Perfect. Very nice. Okay, my friends. Now, um, before we move on, uh, do you have any questions? No. Nope. Good. So that means that we're going to do the homework number two, my friends. <laughs> We are going to check about the agenda and the um, the little meeting that we're going to have, okay? So let's see how it goes. Who wants to be the first one? May I be the one, the, 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 the number one? Of course you can. Okay, thank you. Uh, I am the second one. Very good, <laughs> nice. Uh, okay. 
Uh, here we go. Uh, I have I have one slide. Okay. Uh, Just click with me... the share screen. Uh -huh. Yes, please. Uh, let me check. Uh, what is the what is the second the second because uh, uh, yeah, there is a green button at the bottom that says share, share screen. screen. And share when, screen. You, okay. uh, when you click on that one, you will see all the windows that you have open. You need to look for the one that shows the, the presentation and click on that. File, I think it's file. Mm -hmm. You can do a double click on that and you will be able to, to present. Select a window of application that you want to share. Basic, exactly. advanced files, or whiteboard. Uh, I mean, your presentation is open already? Uh, it's in, in PowerPoint. Okay, but you need to open the presentation and then you need to click okay. share screen. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So First, you... I, I have to, to open the, the, the presentation. Exactly. You open the presentation and then click share screen and then you will see the presentation there. Okay. Let me, let me try, please. Of course. Okay. I am be... I am in, in the presentation. Okay, so now click where it says share screen. In, in, the, in Zoom? In Zoom, yeah. Okay. And when you click on that one, you will see many windows and one of the windows is the presentation. Ah, okay, 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 I got so, it. Uh -huh. And you present. Uh, can, you, can you see my, my screen? No. no, 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 by now. Oh, here, here, oh. here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, okay, thank you. I'm sorry because this is my first, my first time. Yeah, sometimes it takes a while depending on many things. Uh, it says that it's sharing, but we don't see that yet. Um, and, and now you, you can you see? Ah, uh, yes. Now we can see. Okay, thank you. Okay, my 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 classmates, here we go. Thank you for the opportunity. And I have to to do in the best form, right? Uh, here you are my presentation uh, about uh, meeting agenda, right? Uh, we have the we have the date, the 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 day for today, right? The time and location is a Zoom platform. Uh, meeting called by uh, chairman of the board. Type of meeting is urgent. The facilitator is Manuel Palma. It's me, right? Uh, we have a timekeeper uh, as a Jack Robinson. And we have no taker, uh, Clarissa Brown. Uh, the attendee, all sales staff. Minute reader, Jose Muñoz. Okay. Uh, in this presentation, as uh, as a a facilitator, I, I hope you you can enjoy this meeting. Uh, I I give apologize because the others uh, person that uh, that that need to to be here with us uh, they they have the different uh, uh, duties uh, for the time and then I have to apologize for 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 them, but. Uh, a continuation where we uh, we have the necessary to 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 present uh, the the point the specific points of our meeting because I know you 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 your time is important for for uh, your occupation but I I hope you understand me I hope uh, you enjoy this meeting because you are a uh, you are a uh, part of this of this uh, staff of this company, and I, I hope uh, uh, for sure you are you are welcome to our meeting. And 
Uh, continuation, we have the, 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 the topics. The topics are firstly a new product presentation. The in charge is uh, in charge of the person, the presenter is in charge of marketing. Uh, the time allowed it will be uh, five minutes. And then uh, have the opportunity, the, 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 the topic sales projection, uh, the presenter will be sales manager. And the time allowed is five minutes. The, the next uh, topic is investment. Uh, the presenter is financial manager. And for sure, for of course, the, the time allowed is five minutes. And the 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 next part is uh, we have the 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 presenters uh, developing the the topics that we need uh, to know because we hope uh, in, increase our sales. We hope the, the our product. The presentation is a, a a new cell phone, and okay, uh, uh, we bring the 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 time to the in charge of present the the first topic. Uh, teacher, okay. <laughs> I, I I I don't know. I don't know uh, what to 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 do the, the, in the next part because it's a this is a. I don't know. It's a, a short presentation. I, I don't have the 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 others. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. That is fine. I mean, uh, what you have done by now is very good. It's amazing. Very good. Perfect. Thank you for your for your attention. Oh, it's a pleasure. Thank you very much. It was a very nice thing. Nice, nice. Uh, for you to stop sharing on the top. It's uh, top. cerrar. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Very good. good. Very nice. Perfect. Thank you, Manuel. It was very good. <laughs> now, uh, my be she wanted to be the second one. Okay, everybody can see my agenda? Yes, yes. Okay, fine. Okay, uh, it is a, lit a little bit different than Manuel. Uh, I wanted to make five minutes of brainstorming and it is my agenda for this brainstorming. And, and the title of it is how to get surplus food to non-profits more efficiently to fight malnutrition in vulnerable groups. And okay, the location San Salvador, day, time, the chair person, I will be. And the schedule is a little bit different because I wanted to uh, divide the agenda in four uh, steps, you know? Uh, first, and registration and sign in. And now I want to uh, proceed to make uh, questions to build the bra brainstorming. Do you know what a brainstorming is? Uh -huh, people, please participate. Do you know what a brainstorming is as, as, as technique to construct some new and interesting approach, some to some topics. I have written here, brainstorming is a group problem solving method that involves the spontaneous contribution of creative ideas and solutions. And then my first step, handle about, uh, the second step handle about if you know is the food insecurity is a problem in El Salvador. Do you know it? Do you know about the food insecurity in El Salvador? 
No, I don't. Is this a question for all? Yeah. Yes, it is a question for you because it's uh, my a schedule get on construct an approach uh, with you. Uh, okay. Um, I don't know. I don't know nothing about it. Yeah, the problem. Uh, for me, okay. uh, maybe, I'm sorry. Yes. For me, okay. insecurity in the in the way to uh, the most the most of people uh, eat a uh, a uh, full like a uh, fast fat food like pizza like burger and for me this this is a problem because. Uh, in the in the, the the short time that people have uh, during one hour uh, 50 45 minutes uh, the, the the people can eat uh, quickly but okay for me it's okay uh, it is okay fine uh, but food insecurity is more about uh, the limited access of okay. vulnerable yes. people, of poor course. people, vulnerable people yes. to food. Okay. They have not enough to eat. Yes. Or yes, in quantity. Yes. And uh, another uh, concept very important to, for this brainstorming is if you know what surplus food is and food waste is because a lot of people has not access to uh, no food and quality and quantity, but you know, a lot of uh, supply chain, food supply chain are wasting, the, uh, are wasting food. And therefore I have, uh, I, I, I give you additional information about what, but, is meanings for surplus. Of course, when the supply availability and nutritional requirement of food exceeds the demand for it. So it's too much food, but the, 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 the industry, the food industry do not uh, know what to do with this. And then I give you here more concepts that you can read and a complete the information. The third step is another question. Do you think a specialized handle of surplus food could be an alternative to supply food to churches, nursing homes, homeless people, shelters? Because in another country, is the people have found some very nice solution, not only these uh, emergency projects and that make dependable the poor people to, to food, uh, to like uh, USTA or P, uh, war fruit uh, agencies, and then this is um, a, a question that if you think that in El Salvador, you can get a specialized solution to use the surplus food to support churches, nursing, home, uh, nursing homes, homeless uh, people, shelters. And the another question to build a, a brainstorming in this topic is, if you think that um, what is will what could be possible in El Salvador to make the access of food to non-profit organizations more efficiently in rural or urban areas, and I have found an example about food clouds in Ireland that food clouds in Ireland offer two services to redistribute surplus, surplus food, technology and warehousing. They have a, a technology platform, Food Diverse, directly connects to food retailers with surplus or excess foods to local community groups. And they also work closely with the food industry to identify and rescue surplus food 
from food manufacturers, producers, growers, and distributors. And it is, and the final aim is to redistribute it to community groups or vulnerable, vulnerable groups like churches, nursing homes, homeless people shelters. I know that maybe it is it is, is a quite difficult idea to um, play with you brainstorming because the the topic is not too well known by you, but it was my intent. Thank you. It was very good, perfect. Thank you. I really liked it. So, and. Uh... Yeah, we learned some things, so that was very interesting. Very good, perfect. Thank you, my friend. Who wants to be the next one? Me, teacher. Okay, let's check with Adrian. Okay. Can you see? Yes. Yes. Okay. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. I talk about my example the agenda meeting. Uh, my agenda meeting uh, contains the next information, uh, the location in um, uh, meeting room number two, then a number meeting 28 a date the meeting is monday 2022 may and that's a start time at 1 30 p.m and the end time 2 30 p.m the assistant assistant uh, daniel mendez Adriano martinez Sumara calle salvador pineda reina margarita gloria esperanza alexander mayor uh, and this meeting, Daniel Mendez is teacher. I don't remember the person with coordinating the meeting. The name? Okay. Um, oh. And sure, um, and sure the, the chair. meeting. The chair. chair. The chair. Mm -hmm. And this, Daniel Mendez. Okay. Uh, the point uh, in the agenda is introduction and presentation of attendance. The time for this point is 10, mi 10 minutes. And number two, a presentation of new products. Oh, I'm sorry, products. Uh, the time is uh, for this point, one hour. The number three is suggest suggestions and conclusions. Uh, the time is uh, 25 minutes. Uh, finally, the, the next meeting is Tuesday 6th John. Hey. Thank you. <laughs> Very good. Perfect. Thank you. Really, really nice. I liked it. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> It was very good, Adrian. Very good. So we're doing a very good job. I'm very proud of you. So uh, who wants to be the next one? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, the date. The, the meeting of today, May 19, 2023. The time, the time of the, uh, the class, 8 p.m. The location, conference class in support, this class. The meeting calls by Anaselmi. Um, type of meeting, I am not sure, the indecision. Okay, that's fine. Yes. Mm -hmm. The facilitator, Anaselmi, not take, Anaselmi too, <laughs> in chair. Um, the 
the please spring. I believe that is the the issue for all the reason for the meeting ideas about the integration activities for our group for celebration of Families Day. Mm, this is my agenda. Uh, attendees, attendees, mm -hmm. a classmate of English class. An introduction. Mm, thank you, classmate for your participation in this meeting. Um, I need to, to take your ideas for the celebration, the Families Day. Um, please, uh, could you give me uh, your ideas about uh, our celebration? Adriana, do you have the ideas? Uh, hello, Ana Selmi. Uh, could you repeat the question, please? It's a pleasure for me to repeat the question. Um, the meeting is about the, I, I want to call it, is right, teacher? I yeah, want I... to collect the ideas about the different activities of integration for our celebration, the Families Day. And do you have uh, an idea for a specific activity for that celebration? Uh, for example, um, the celebration Mother's Day. Yeah. Uh, um, the celebration Joe Day. Yeah. In how? How activity for you is pro proposed? Proposed for that activity, Adriana? Yes, I... I am taking note. Uh -huh. Because I am secretary too. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> I will make for... I will make... Um, I will make... Uh, or I will give it to... I how do you say regalo? Gift. Gift. Uh, oh, present. Present. Yeah. Oh, present. Great oh, present. idea, Adriana. Thank you for your your contribution <laughs> for this event. Uh, oh, Thank present. you, Adriana. Uh huh. Uh, 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 all person and uh, they mothers. Um. Uh, they all woman the company eh, that mother that at mother mm. i think no i thank you for your contribute contribution for your advice advice yeah advice thank you you're welcome Anna mm -hmm. thank you classmate and the next meeting we we will take the, the, the definitive decision about this topic. Thank you. Good evening. Bye. Good evening. Very good. I liked it very much. Very nice. <laughs> and very good idea. The agenda was very nice as well. Perfect. Thank you very much, Anasalmi. Thank you, teacher. That's it. Thank Bye. you. Uh, anybody else who wants to be the next one? Me, teacher. Okay, Maria Elena. But I can um, sharing because when I connect my computer, um, my in internet fails. Oh, I see. Um, <laughs> I see, but 
anymore and <laughs> any one thing. But uh, welcome everyone. I I am uh, happy that all of you are in this uh, meeting. Um, I send it. <laughs> the agenda uh, in in the chat in the beginning uh, meeting class yeah. and um, the meeting is in Zoom virtual meeting in this day May 19, 2023 the time is 20.43 uh, finish in five minutes is a short meeting. Um, chairperson is me, Guadalupe Peñate. Uh, location is in Zoom meeting room. Um, all the person at the moment uh, connected is the 17 participated. Um, for me, is a pleasure uh, saying welcome everyone to our meeting. Um, the object of this um, meeting is share uh, the ideas, the English learners about the Father's Day. Um, and for this, I need um, for uh, the partner, my partner, um, right in the in the message, in chat, and chat, a number, whatever number that the 17, the one or the seven, uh, you can say it, write a number that the one or the 17 that you want, please. Okay. Yeah. The uh, yeah, the, the uh, for all, for all, for all. Yeah, the agenda is already there in the chat. If you want to see it, yeah, uh, it's a picture that she sent at the very beginning. It's the first message, actually. Um, for the third uh, step, I need the participated uh, sending um, a number that the uh, may can be to the one or the 17. The number do you want? Any or number. <laughs> Any number. I Any want number. 13. Uh, you can write in the chat. Okay. Please. And for all my partners too, uh, I need uh, you can write a number from uh, the one to seventeen. From one to seventeen everybody needs to uh, whatever write. number. Any number. I took Any 13 number. already. <laughs> the thirteen uh, there is the five. Um one more. Well okay. Thank you. Uh, this activity is only for the questions. And the fifth person is not important, the number. Important, who is the first person? And the first person is Eric. Um, the question is, if you, in some one moment, uh, celebrate the Father's Day. Okay. Very nice activity. I liked it. Very nice. Very good. Um, <laughs> Yes, thank you. <laughs> you <laughs> celebrate um, Father's Day. I celebrate, the... yeah. You celebrate, okay. I, I have a son, he's 16 years old, and uh, almost always what we do is we watch a movie or go to get some food. Uh, he likes also to to shoot with guns and things. I mean, play with him. Um, uh, the question is, who is the present that do you um, believe is a better present for the familiar? I mean, to spend time with them. 
time with them. Okay. Uh, we take a uh, uh, one time with them. And the second question is for Rosa Elena Salgado. <laughs> Rosa Elena, uh, who present you, you believe that you can um, do the um, co-worker for a co-worker in your job who is the better person you can give the better person a better person to my co-workers that are parents oh my god um, i think that uh, maybe if i cook a lasagna for them <laughs> oh that sounds good yeah cook a lasagna for them Ah, uh, you cook in lasagna. Uh, yeah. Yes. I, I, Very delicious. Delicious <laughs> lasagna. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Well, okay. time with them is the first for the family, for Eric. Uh, Rosalena saying, uh, food a lasagna. And I need uh, one more. Um, my be, Koromoto. Uh, who is the present you can give? Uh, to a friend in the Father's Day. Okay, I can bring a cake. I I like to bake. I like bakery and maybe I can uh, bake a mango cake. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> it's a like okay, can you bake one for the class? <laughs> if, you need, if you need a big present, uh, it's a big present. You know already that maybe my day. Uh, yeah, you can cook one for us. You can. Can. Yes. yes, we need. You can to pick up, up your home. Yes, you need to organize a <laughs> presidential meeting so that we can uh, share ah, some definitely. of our. Uh, <laughs> Sorry I for the teacher because we need a meeting so in, in a personal. All of you. Yeah, yeah, we need to organize ourselves and maybe <laughs> say so. Very good. <laughs> and the other question is for Manuel. Manuel, right. uh, do you can help us with the day when you uh, can make a party <laughs> All right. I, I, uh, it's me. It's a day. It's me. Uh, I, I, I am in charge to organize a, a, a party. <laughs> your, this is your 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 question, or yes, who how is the day ideal day that you ah, propose for organizing a organize. party for organizing ah, okay. party? Who is okay in, in the in this month or next month? Friday night. <laughs> Friday, Friday night. night. Friday night. Friday night. Friday night. <laughs> like like the movie. Oh, uh, it's it's up to the 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 occasion. For example, if is a is a meeting or is a party for a, a office in a in a work, uh, maybe it could be uh, on Friday after 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 work. In for example, Galaxy Boys. <laughs> oh, guys, well, that would be good. <laughs> I, I, I think so. <laughs> but is it family? Is family? 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 Family. Uh -huh. family. Uh, it's uh, on Sunday. Okay. okay. Thank you for all. And the um, goals that do you compare with me? And I take uh, many. Se me olvidó cuál es la palabra para apuntes. Who is the word? The word? Many apuntes. Ah, the minutes. The minutes. I take a minute for this uh, meeting and I say us uh, when uh, make a party. <laughs> Thank Very you good. for all. Next, okay. uh, next, next other time. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Very Thank good you. activity. Thank you, Maria Elena. <laughs> okay, who wants to be the next one? 
I try I try to do a quick list. Of course. Okay, I don't have I don't have a presentation. Nice. I can, I can do it, but in in my own ways that I understand about it is okay. Um we have a I have an agenda for a for a meeting, for a reunion to ex to expose uh uh, oh my God, to expose a situation, okay? Uh, we, we, are go we are going to talk about the, the cl climate change causes and effects. Uh, I hope that I all the presents enjoy the presentation. Uh, if you have questions, you can do the question after the presentation. And I try to, I try to be simple, about five minutes because the time is running and I hope that uh, I can express myself and you can you can make questions or you can uh, put your own opinions about it. Uh, the causes for the climate change nowadays is the rapid industrialization, the energy use, the agricultural practice, deforestation, consumer practice, livestock, transport, resource extractions, and the pollution. The effects uh, for the climate change are the rising temperatures, rising, rising sea levels, unpredictable weather patterns, increasing extreme weather events, land degradation, loss of wildlife and biodiversity. Okay, I have a question. What do you think are the social impacts of a climate change? What do you think? Uh, in my opinion, uh, I consider the, the when weather, uh, the cause of, of uh, last night, Climate change is uh, mostly for the pollution, right? And uh, I, I don't know. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry because <laughs> I I I I, oh, I yes. saw the the the, the freeze your your. Oh. The, the <laughs> Yes, yes, and the this is the the, the most uh, part for 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 pollution for uh, change of of climate. climate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nowadays we can we can uh, we can still imagine the the temperatures nowadays here in San Salvador are highest, and the the hot is oh my god, I. Today I was reading that uh, this weekend will be uh, an extremely hot weather. Uh, there is isn't rain, maybe the, the rain comes, but not here in San Salvador, maybe in the, in the central or in the occident or in the orient of the country. But here in San Salvador, the rain is absent for these days. Uh, I think that all these things uh, increase the, the risk of diseases because the the rivers uh, the rivers uh, how do you say oh my god the rivers uh, there are water short 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 heights with the rivers and many things but I don't want to speak you I need that you that you can tell me another, 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 me? yeah, me. Why, yeah? Um, Why, yeah? I believe uh, that, well, well, do you say temperature, but with the change in decline, um, many species lost uh, because its ecosystem is lost and to, um, crops and pieces for cows the decline. Okay. okay. 
Okay. Okay. That's it. Perfect. Very good. Thank you, Rose. It was very good, very interesting. The topic was very interesting as well. Uh, anybody else? Me, teacher. I try. Okay. Let's check. It. Very good. Okay. Hi. Welcome to the meeting. Um, is referring to uh, sales travel tickets in a webinar um, in this week where we uh, receive webinars uh, for Delta and for United. Um, okay, the first point is for increase the sales of travel tickets. Uh, the I uh, some some ideas. For example, check the price every day early in the morning. A call of the customers. Um, send the emails of the customers. And answer WhatsApp. And organize webinars. For example, airlines and actual information for the flight. Um, contact the hot hotels for the better prices and organize travel travel agents uh, travel with travel agents for for they see uh, see the places of the countries and stay in in the hotel and see the the hotel service okay other point is uh, in this week receive the webinars of Delta and United. Uh, the explication is more important explication. For example, um, we learning of the bugs and seats. And the bugs is important. Uh, some, some flight, some flights, uh, the customer fly only carry on, only only our um, personal article and other flights, uh, personal article, carry on and bag. Um, okay, I re uh, we remember the best price of advantage of different service. For example, the best seat or more bus in the first class and other class. Um, some fly with price more expensive because tra customer travel with, uh, for example, personal, um, personal article and carry on. We remember carry on on only um, only 40 pounds and above 50 pounds. Other point is, um, but I some fly with price more cheap because we remember only a customer travel with only personal article. In other prices, uh, the customer travel with personal article and carry on. In other prices, a, a customer travel with personal personal article, carry on, and in the bag, the bag of fifty pounds. Um, it's important. Uh, for the customers understand the fly, the fly, uh, the fly by the fly. Uh, for example, in, free, in, in first class, give the food, uh, depend the hours, for example, dinner or break, uh, breakfast or lunch. In long flights, receive, receive two, Two full times 
for example, dinner, dinner uh, a day, and other day breakfast is a long flight two days no no only no exactly two days uh, but hours the time full times in in the flight and um, give the snacks and the seat is practically a belt in the first class in other class is, is different only that is is the meeting in okay. in today and congratulations and sales more sales please <laughs> <laughs> yeah that is the point right to sell more very good perfect thank you very much and very good information i mean that that is very very interesting perfect a uh, very good job everybody if by any chance somebody else's have other uh, i mean the presentation for that one we can do that on monday not a problem so by now we're going to finish you can see that this is the way that we're going to do the class right three four days we're going to speak and check about concepts and things like that one and on fridays we're going to practice so that what is going to be happening okay any questions before we finish okay so let's check the attendance ada patricia linares galdamez Present teacher. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Good. Alejandra Michelle Hueso Najera. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Good. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdamez. Here. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Maybe Coromoto García de Calderón. Present. Good. Happy weekend for everybody. I need to attend the family meeting. Oh, go ahead. Perfect. You too, Thank maybe. you. Happy Thank weekend. You. Manuel Antonio Palma. Present teacher. Good, Good. night. Good night. María Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Ok, ok. Ok. Silvia Suleima Rodríguez de González. Good. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present. Good night. Good night. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good night. Good night. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Present. Perfect. It was a pleasure then, my friends, to be with you. Have a good night. A nice weekend. See you on Monday and have a wonderful night here. Yes, have a good weekend. Good weekend. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good Bye -bye. Thank you. See, see you Monday. Monday. Good night. Night. Hello, Alejandra. Uh, do you have any questions? Anything about the platform? Hello, Alejandra.